string theory. What are the strings of string theory? Yeah, so when we get into the details of this approach to put quantum mechanics and general relativity together, we find that historically, the essential move was to say, look, the old paradigm is that matter is made up of these little particles, electrons and quarks, little tiny dot-like structures. The new idea of string theory was to say, what if they're not little dots? What if they are extended little filaments? What if if you took a powerful microscope and you looked into the heart of matter and you didn't find a swarm of little dots, but you found a swarm of little vibrating filaments? And the motivation for that came from the fact that with that move, the tension between quantum mechanics and general relativity went away. Mm -hmm. That little tiny move from dot to filament was what you needed for the mathematics of these two theories to harmoniously meld together. So if this picture is correct, the electron would be a little vibrating filament and the quarks, they would be little vibrating filaments and the different vibrational patterns, like the different musical notes on a musical string, would correspond to the different particles that make up the world. So it's kind of like the universe becomes this microscopic cosmic symphony of vibrating filaments. It's a very beautiful and poetic picture that we can make rigorous and mathematical.